Here we introduce the operation methods of IPX4 and IPX5 test chamber SN4416-1000L. The equipment consists of a waterproof chamber and cylinders. The inner chamber and the turntable are made of SUS304 sharp stainless steel plate to ensure long-term use without rust. The black area on the right is the control panel. The pressure gauge below shows the pressure in the line. Below the pressure gauge is the turntable speed controller. The smaller flow meter in the middle is to control the shower and IPX5. The larger flow meter on the right is to control if 6. Before starting the test, connect the pipeline first. There are two nozzles in the middle left of the back of the equipment. The first one on the left is connected to the IPX6 pipeline. And the second one on the left is connected to the IPX5 pipeline. After connecting and tightening the screws. The first one on the bottom left is the drain port. Open this port can drain the water in the water chamber. The second is the water outlet, from which the water that exceeds the water level line is discharged. The third is the water inlet, which feeds the external water source into the water chamber. Make them all connected and tighten the screws. After the back pipeline is connected, connect the pipe of the shower to the nozzle on the right inside the chamber. After the pipeline is connected, install the IPX5 and IPX6 cylinders. Due to the heavy weight of the cylinder, two people are required to move it. Clamp one end of the large cylinder with a ring protruding outward into the cylinder slot on the left side of the device. Align the position and hold the cylinder with the support frame. Pull out the small cylinder. Note one end of the small cylinder, with a ring protruding outwards, will be stuck at the end of the large cylinder, with a ring protruding inward. After placing the nozzle bracket, pull out the small cylinder completely and place it on the nozzle bracket. After the cylinder is installed, install the IPX5 and IPX6 nozzles. Insert the IPX5 and IPX6 nozzles into the round holes on the top of the nozzle bracket. Tighten the corresponding fixing screws. Press the start button. Test IPX3 and IPX4 first. Enter the IPX3 and IPX4 control screen. Turn on the turntable. Select the rotation mode. Mode 1, keep clockwise rotating. Mode 2, forward one circle then reverse one circle. Adjust the turntable speed controller on the panel so that the speed displayed on the touch screen is one arm in. Turn on the IPX3 and IPX4 button on the touch screen. Press start button and observe whether the turntable and shower are normal running. After all adjustments are made, press stop button. Fixing the sample on the turntable. Turn on the IPX3 and IPX4 button on the touch screen. Align the shower with the sample. The IPX4 shower is not blocked by the baffle. The IPX3 shower is blocked by the baffle. It will automatic alarm when time is up. When running IPX5 and IPX6 test, please close the door first. Enter IPX5 and IPX6 control screen. Set the test time. Then turn on the turntable. Select the rotation mode. Turn on the IPX5 button and observe whether the nozzle and turntable are normal running. Adjust the flow. IPX5 flow is 12.5 L min. After all adjustments are made, press stop button. 
then we can start IPX5 test. Fix the sample on the turntable. Close the security door. Turn on the turntable and select the rotation mode in the control screen. Start IPX5 test. Align the nozzle with the sample. We can turn on the light for easy observation. Then we can set the parameter setting of IPX6. Set the test time. Turn on the IPX6 button on touch screen. Press start button. Adjust the IPX6 flow to 100 lmin. After all adjustments are made, press stop button. Fix the sample on the turntable. Due to the large water impulse of IPX6, when the sample is small, it needs to be fixed on the turntable with a rope. Turn on the turntable. Then press the start button. Align the nozzle with the sample. It will automatic alarm when time is up. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.